Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Vicstar123, with some Team Tomahawk gameplay on Nuketown Double Rainbow all the way across the sky, yeah! So, you guys asked for some more Team Tomahawk gameplay after the one I did the other day, and I was like, yeah, boy, let's get some of this done. Team Tomahawk on Nuketown, good fun. We're watching Demite here just because he can do stuff like that and make it look easy. So, in this video, like I promised last time, I'm going to be talking about Black Ops 2, and I'm not going to be all like, Black Ops, short leak information, Tomahawk, wagon million, ah, oh, this is happening, oh my god, this is going over again. That's, that's not me, that's not who I am. But what I am going to be doing is, you know, a more overview, general, my thoughts, my feelings, what I'm saying. So, uh, yeah, Black Ops 2, something like 20 years in the future, and in my opinion, perfect. Best move they could have possibly made. The absolute right decision. They've been releasing a very similar game for much too long now. Now, of course, there is the argument that if you take it too far in the future, it's going to be... It's not Call of Duty anymore, but they need to. They need to do this. They need to mix it up. They need to add in something. People who go like, oh, it's going to be Halo because it's like, it's like in the future and space and aliens and stuff. No, it's, it's really not. It's still on Earth. It's 20 years in the future. There's no aliens. There's just robots and stuff and uh, crazy tank vehicles. Vehicles, now that's an interesting point. Vehicles, vehicles, vehicles. Tanks on World at War, OP as anything else. So, um, if they get the vehicles wrong, they could be in a pickle. They could be in a mess. We'll have to see how that all goes out, but... Um, yeah, moving into the future, it gives them, you know, 20 years is just right as well. It gives them room to add in some creativity, but it won't take it too far from what Call of Duty is. I really don't know, but, you know, people who argue that it won't be Call of Duty anymore, I, I honestly I honestly don't mind too much because it's what they need to do. We've, we've had enough of the general idea with these last few games, and they do definitely need to mix it up. But execution is everything. You know, with this series, with this, no, sorry, with this game, they could, uh, they could improve the series massively, or they could kill it at the same time. You know, if they mess up, people weren't happy with MW3, a lot of people. Well, I say, you know, they kill it to our audience, because, you know, people like us, I guess we're the more, we're the more serious gamers, we're not your, your, you know, weekend noobs running around with FMG9s and just failing at the game and using whatever cheap tactics to get kills. We, we, we play a game for enjoyment. We know how to play the game. We play it well. And we're, we're you know, the thing that's bad is that we're not really that large of a target market or audience for the game. We're a minority, which which is a shame. But, hey, um, it depends. Again, it seems from the community manager, David Von Der Haar, he's been looking, you know, he's been doing a lot of community work, speaking with us to uh, get... Uh, things locked down to how we want them to be and it all seems positive so far but it could go any way so that's just about me done with my thoughts on Black Ops 2 the next Call of Duty fingers crossed for Tomahawks as always um, and yeah that's that is it if you guys could leave some comments with your thoughts I would love to hear them I always do and I'm sure there'll be some good stuff in there some skepticism as always but that's the way it goes so let's wrap up this game with the one and then head in here and don't get the two, but anyway, that's the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hit the like button. Previous episode, random episode, subscribe. Check out the random episode. It'll be a really old Team Tomahawk when I had a squeaky voice. Yeah.